that, my friends, is the sound of the buzzing of many, 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 many honeybees. Where do they come from, you ask? Well, they come from that chimney. How do I know? Well, last summer, I was doing some painting on this house, and we noticed that there were bees in the chimney. The last thing you want to do is stick your hand down it a broken chimney pot that has a bee's nest in it, but they're in here somewhere and where there's bees there's probably honey. Bees tend to swarm when they run out of space and that can especially be so when they nest in a chimney. So anyway, we noticed them swarming the other day and then when I came back an hour or two later I noticed that they'd formed a lovely little cluster on a laurel branch. Pretty crazy. So we called a local beekeeper to see if he was interested in coming and taking the bees away. Yes, he was. And here he is. So my job was just holding the ladder. Figured I might as well video the process. Pretty cool, he was able to actually cut the branch with a saw and pull the whole thing down. Okay, so now the plan is that he's going to shake these bees into a sort of temporary beehive, a box that he can leave the lid on, and there's a small opening at the front, which I think excludes the queen from getting out, but allows any other bees to want to join the hive to enter. Apparently bees don't usually swarm without the queen, so we have to assume the queen is in here somewhere. And if she is, and she makes it into the box, the rest of the bees will follow her. So that's what this guy's going to try to do. So after we trimmed off a few branches, that is exactly what he did. Boom! Pretty incredible. And then we just left the box here for a few hours and just let the bees gradually make their way in. At this stage, according to the beekeeper, the bees are sticking their bums up in the air, flapping their wings and releasing a pheromone that sends out a message to the other bees to come to where they're all gathered around the queen to the new location. So he left the hive here, came back in the evening, and the next morning it was gone. And there were just a few bees left on the wall, sniffing around, wondering where the queen had gone. And that, my friends, is that. What a cool experience to witness.